Okay, so we're gonna dive into a crucial and concerning topic, and that's crime in California. California is in a state of absolute chaos when it comes to crime. Violent crime, death, shoplifting, you name it, is running rampant in California. When it comes to shoplifting, California has Penal Code 459, which was voted in by Proposition 47. And this law basically states that if a person shoplifts, if the total value of those items that they stole comes out to $950 or less, it's deemed a misdemeanor. So this particular law has become a serious problem for retailers because oftentimes, especially because it's a non-violent misdemeanor, oftentimes police don't respond to it. So you go to Walmart, Walgreens, some local mom and pop shop, Bloomingdale's, Big Five, wherever you go, if you steal less than $950 worth of items, more than likely you're just gonna get away with it. First of all, the people in these stores, they'll observe you, they'll call the police or whatever, the people who work there, but usually they don't put their hands on you, they don't try to detain you, anything like that. So we have several videos of guys just running into a retail store, taking items and strolling right on out. Then we have videos of people doing flash mob robberies where five, 10, 20 of these guys rush into a store like a jewelry store, Bloomingdale's, still a bunch of items. If you own one of these shops, you just call the police, maybe they'll come, maybe they'll take their sweet time coming, maybe they won't show up at all. And oftentimes, the few occasions when these guys do get caught, they're not prosecuted. They're usually not punished. Sometimes the prosecutor would just drop the charges and sometimes the retailer doesn't want to pursue the charges because it costs them. For example, oftentimes when the Walgreens employees call the police and the police manage to make an arrest for this retail theft, it's only a couple hundred dollars worth of items. They'll need the employee to show up to court as a witness. So Walgreens corporate is saying, no, you know what? We don't want to do all that. We ain't got time for that. We're already short staff. We don't want to pay the employees to be caught up in court. This is going to constantly happen because we're getting five, 10 deaths a day. So I can't just constantly send my employees to court. So you know what? Let's just let it go. Wash it up to insurance. So what does this do? This incentivizes more theft. So they just keep coming in and stores like Walgreens, CVS, and even some of the Walmarts, they say, you know what? We're being robbed so much. It's so difficult to deal with. The laws are so wet. We're just out of here. So Walgreens, Walmart, and other retailers, they've closed hundreds of stores throughout California in the last couple of years. And people are crying about it like, man, I was grocery shopping here. I got my medicine here. Well, the culture of the neighborhood you can't blame the retailers because the thieves are pushing these retailers to the point of bankruptcy. These stores are operating in the red. Like if you have certain neighborhoods in San Francisco, you have a pharmacy, you're operating in the red because you're making sales, but you're losing so much product, so much every day that it doesn't make sense to even be there. You might as well just close up shop because this is how bad the culture is in California. This is how trash the laws are that protect businesses are in California. And there was one Walgreens, I forget exactly what city, but they went to an extreme measure. They started putting chains on the fridges because people were just walking in, they'll take a soda, they'll take an energy drink, bottle of water, some ice cream, and just walk right on out. And as soon as the employees stopped these freezers, <laughs> They would just be cleaned out immediately. It's as if they're putting them up specifically for the thieves. So they put chains with big locks on them. And it went viral on social media and Walgreens corporate like, oh, no, that's a bad look. Take it down. We'd rather them steal from us. We'd rather y'all employees endure all this crap up close and personal than have this bad look. We don't want images online of our stores having chains around it. <laughs> So that puts the employees in a bind. Like, I guess we'll have to deal with it. Or maybe they'll just quit, find another job because they don't want to be in a place where people come in and steal it all day. And another issue, I'm pretty sure y'all heard about those freight train robberies. So, you know, 40% of imports to the United States come through California. They'll come from Asia and they'll land in California and they're dispersed from California throughout the rest of the country. Most of them are dispersed on freight trains. 
So these freight trains move in certain areas. They have to move very slow. So these will walk right on up and take product out. It could be medicine going to some medical facility. It could be your Amazon product. It could be a host of items. And the thieves, they'll just grab them off the train, rip the box open, open the package, see if it's something that they want. Is it a phone, computer, or something like that? If it's nothing that they want, they'll just leave it on the ground. So there are heaps of cardboard, plastic, and unwanted items just laying on the ground in those areas where they steal from the freight train. Dozens of them, even Gavin Newsom got in on it. He was out there trying to make a photo op, talking about, oh yeah, we need to clean up these boxes. We need to have more security. The train company isn't doing enough to secure their items and all of this. So this is happening. We got shoplifting going on all throughout the state of California. We got people being mugged, people being robbed, break-ins, people getting beat up. Gang violence is on the rise. Murder is on the rise. You be sitting there eating a sandwich at some place. Next thing you know, a guy runs up with a knife or a gun and just takes your watch, takes your purse, takes your cell phone, runs off. People are breaking into cars. And all of this while the governor and her attorney general are sitting pretty. They were voted in overwhelmingly by California voters. The voters go through a cycle. They vote for these Democrats, these cell phone crime leftists. The leftists push in soft on crime policies. The residents complain. The Democrats say, hey, you know what? Vote for me again, and I'm going to do a better job. So they vote for them again. They're soft on crime again. Residents complain. The cycle continues because these people are sheep. They're brainwashed. They're inflicting harm on themselves. So no matter how bad the crime gets, no matter how infested these neighborhoods are with criminals, with break-ins, with burglaries, with thefts, with carjackings and with more serious violent crime issues, they'll keep voting for the same people because the same people will sweet talk them. Hey man, look, we need to do something about this crime. I know we've been in power for 50 years and every election year we come out and say, we're gonna do something about crime. Y'all vote for us. We never do anything, but then we tell y'all to do it again and y'all just do it. We're just gonna continue. We're gonna continue this until we run the state into the ground. We're getting paid, we're getting rich, your neighborhoods are being ravished, but it doesn't matter to us because we're getting paid. This is who the voters put in power. So these Democrats, they know how to win elections. They know how to brainwash people. They know how to rig elections. But what they don't know how to do, what they're absolute trash at, is governing. Case in point, George Gascon, the California Attorney General. This man is absolute garbage. So I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with the three strike rule in California where guys get 25 to life on their third felony. George Gascon actually released a lot of these guys from prison because a lot of these guys were either Latino and they were black and they said, you know what? It's kind of racist. We got all these guys locked up and they're minorities. So that means we must be racist. So that means these drug dealers, these crackheads out here committing violent crimes, we need to let them out early. Some of them we need to let her out right away. Hey, our prisons are overcrowded anyway, so let's just make more room. Let's take some of them out, put them back on the streets. And this was Prop 57, and the California voters voted overwhelmingly to support this. Even Zuckerberg's Facebook CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, he got in on this. When they were campaigning for Prop 57 to let all of these guys out on good behavior and other stuff, he donated a million dollars to help push this propaganda. So the California voters are complaining about what they voted overwhelmingly for. These guys are extremely soft on crime. So as long as these guys are in power, as long as these guys are in office, it's gonna be the same thing. California loses more residents than any other state in the union. Most of them are fleeing to the South. They're going to Texas, they're going to Florida, they're going to Tennessee, because these states are way better when it comes to public safety, when it comes to protecting neighborhoods when it comes to protecting businesses but so these people vote for radicals then they get tired of it some of them but some of them stay forever and then they go to another place like texas say hey the grass is greener over here then they vote for the same thing and put those same radicals in power where they are and then they wonder why crime and ravaged neighborhoods follows them wherever they go and these are also the same people who were marching out there crying defund the police a cab get this cop out of here we hate cops we need to have therapists and psychiatrists roaming the streets instead of police so if i got a big guy six foot eight 
250 pounds of muscle, he high on cocaine, if he's breeding a brace off a woman in a DV incident. Hey, let's send a psychiatrist to that. Let's send a social worker over there to deal with this. Let's not send a cop there because if the guy's a minority and a, a white cop shows up, that will be racist. This is the mindset of these people out there in California. This is why the culture is so screwed. This is why crime is going to continue unless they can kick out their leadership and start fresh. So the people of California, like I said, they need to kick out the leadership, put in guys who are actually going to put in hard work to clean up the streets. The residents need to stop being sheep. They need to learn to think for themselves, get rid of Newsom, get rid of Gascon. Until then, good luck. So let me know what you think. Leave me your thoughts below. Share the video. Thanks for watching.